there was a generation that grew up watching civil rights demonstrations and watching people peacefully demonstrating being brutalized, being beat up, being shot because they are protesting nonviolently for civil rights. And that angered a lot of people. And so the Black Panther Party was spreading across California and then it was spreading across other places. We didn't have the ability or the time to go organize it. We had to kind of run behind the people and say, oh, they created one in New York. They created one. Well, let's go and see if they're doing it right. So the Black Panther Party kind of exploded at, as a national organization at, in this era because of the way the Vietnam War was being propagated. It was kind of a war culture and also the, the fury. I mean, how, how dare you kill Martin Luther King? I mean, he, he, this is a man who's for peace and nonviolence. So if you kill that kind of man, what else can we do? We have to defend ourselves. So, so the notion of engaging in armed self-defense, which carries over into a notion of guerrilla war, and the Vietnam War, it was all somehow or other mixed in with our concept of revolution. The Black Panther Party, unlike some groups, started out with a very full-fledged program and platform of their what we want and what we believe. But the 10-point platform and program was essentially very analogous to all the demands that black people had been making since the end of the Civil War in some form or another about economic access, about housing, about education, about um, justice, and uh, this issue of imprisonment which is now extremely huge. I mean, the level of black imprisonment when the Black Panther Party started wasn't any particular higher, higher than anybody else. But subsequently to the start of the Black Panther Party, it's, it's gone off the chart. So there's what we call mass imprisonment, massive imprisonment that didn't exist uh, because I guess it was the Vietnam War. They needed a lot of black men to fight that war. So they weren't so interested in imprisoning them as sending them to Vietnam. And the end of the Vietnam War, uh, you have a whole different culture, and I, I would say that the way in which the Black Panther Party arose and the way in which it would develop was in the era of the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War ends in 75. It begins about 63. The Black Panther Party started in 66, and by 75 it was pretty much over because the counterintelligence and the brutality and all the attacks on the party, infiltration of the party, all the arrests. And so we had a level of chaos in our leadership and it got to the point at one point that the party was more run by women because so many men were either in prison or hiding. This notion of forming coalitions was part of how we were doing our community organizing and our political organizing, because all of these are grassroots organizations without, without a lot of money, without a lot of budget, but have a tremendous, what do you call it, a tremendous communal support, because they're actually talking about the needs of people who are kind of left out of the political system. And the uh, political officials weren't really paying that much attention to these kinds of communities and these kinds of people because they don't have a lot of money to support the politicians. And so the concept of coalitions, combinations, collaborations uh, were very central to how the Black Panther Party was able to generate a lot of enthusiasm and also uh, just make people rethink what they were doing. I mean, to for us to collaborate in 1967 with the predominantly white group, the Peace and Freedom Party was very controversial in the Black Power era. I mean, SNCC had been, you know, kicking out the white people from leadership, and there was this move toward black consciousness that meant black solidarity, which meant all black organizations, which was different than the past. Uh, the integrated era of the civil rights movement. And so when the Black Panther Party, which is in the black power mold 100%, forms a coalition with the predominantly white peace and freedom, oh, that was highly controversial. The concept Eldridge talked about was the American Revolution. This is, these are the people who are part of America. If we're going to revolutionary transform the society, we have to work with other people. We can't have, you know, head in the sand, all black movement. Independence movements led to neo-colonial domination, led to all kinds of corruption, and so some of that tremendous upsurge and possibility has been undermined, sabotaged, and eliminated, but that doesn't mean that you give up. That means it's just on a different level. Now it's like 
it's it's more like you are dealing with a super concentrated high level industrial state that has all kinds of uh, ways of spying and sabotaging you but still the basic communication person to person the problems of bad housing the problems of bad health the problems of police violence the problems of um, social injustice they may have a different form but they're not different problems they're not different problems and the need for commitment the need for leadership the need for uh, recognition that you have to fight on many different levels and I think the fact that uh, women are more empowered now than they were then um, and the world is more tied to each other I mean there's no such thing as the internet when we were fighting I mean that would have been amazing the technology is different the world is uh, less broad because it's so much instantaneous communication. But that doesn't enhance your ability to trust somebody. I mean, you still have to have face-to-face. -face. You have to be able to commit. You have to be able to trust. So I was very impressed myself with all the uprisings in, in like in Tunisia and in Egypt, because these are like direct mass movements on the parts of young people challenging their government. So you still have to band together, ha have a commitment, challenge the authorities, risk your life, and put everything on the line to make the world better.